Without a drill press, drilling a truly straight hole is difficult. And when it's important or you have limited resources, trial and error cannot be an option. This is how I drill a straight hole without a drill press. It seems pretty simple to hold a drill 90 degrees to a surface. Even when I hold a drill, what feels like 90 degrees is often not. But there's an easy way around this. I don't need to worry about pre-manufactured jigs. I don't need a drill press and I don't even need to be particularly skilled with the drill. But I do need to make a jig. A jig is just something that holds tooling in place. So I'm going to need a few things. Firstly, I need a piece of thin timber sheet. This piece of scrap timber sheet is three millimeters. And that's about as thick as I would go. Anything larger will not work. I need one straight edge on the sheet. If I didn't have a straight edge, I'd need to make one. I need a nice sharp pencil, a rule, a square, some super glue, a clamp, a sharp blade, and of course a drill and some bits. Okay, let's make it. I want to make 12 divisions of 15 millimeters across the sheet. That's 13 lines which means the sheet needs to be at least 180 millimeters wide. And with the square, I make the lines. I need another line along the sheet, 15 millimeters parallel to the straight edge and another at perhaps 50 millimeters. I mark the edge with the continuation of every second line. Now I want the hole in my finished material to be five millimeters. So I'm first going to drill a smaller guide hole on each of the intersects where the lines continued over the edge. Then I drill with the five millimeter bit. Now I have to cut this up with the sharp blade and a rule or a straight edge, a metal one is best. Being very careful of my fingers, I cut the longest lines first. I run the blade along the straight edge in shallow cuts until I am through the board. Once done, the blade has kicked up the edge a bit, so I'm going to sand it down so it's flat across the piece. Now I have all the pieces ready for my jig. I put the drill bit through the holes to line them up. I clamp them gently for a little more friction between the pieces. And I check the drill bit is 90 degrees to one side of the jig and adjust as necessary. I super glue each of the sides of the timber and leave it to dry for 10 minutes to be sure that it cures. I mark the face side, that's the side where I check the angle. I mark a crosshair right over the edges. And it's done. To use it, I mark crosshairs on the piece I want to drill. I place the custom drill jig face down and line up crosshairs with crosshairs. I firmly hold it or clamp it and drill, leaving a nice perpendicular hole in the timber. Alternatively, if I had to do holes on the edge of a piece, I can modify my jig. If so, on the face of the jig, I measure out a line from the center of the hole. I rule it. And with another piece of MDF, I glue it on as a stop edge. Then simply mark a line on the piece that I want to put a hole in, either to meet up with a crosshair or the edge of the jig. I hold it firmly or clamp it, then I drill the hole. And it's done. This video really reinforces the idea of measure twice, cut once. And if it was useful to you, please like and subscribe. If you would like me to make something else, please drop a comment below. Remember guys, break it till you make it, and I'll see you next time.